work is a job for the girls, according to a survey released this week. And the girls say they still don't fancy the traditional male jobs like building, carpentry or motor repairs. But is it all true? Fred asked young pupils at Queen's Park Primary School in Brighton in this week's Child's Eye. I bet you two don't do anything in the house at all to help your mum, do you? Yeah, yeah. I bet you don't. What do you do then? I, I do the lawn mowing and the washing up. Do you really? Yeah. What about you, Cole? Um, I don't. What do you do then? Anything at all? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? I'm too lazy. Washing up. Every day? After school. Very good. What about you? Um, I um, s sometimes do some dusting. When you two leave school, wouldn't it be nice to, to be a builder or uh, work in a garage or make things with wood? What do you think? Make things with wood. Oh, you'd like to be a carpenter, would you? What about you, darling? Carpenter as well. When you two leave school, would you like a nice job, say, I don't know, with babies or working in a dress shop? No. Or... No. Why? Mm, that's a girl's job. Because I think everybody can do anything. I don't so, think there's things that boys can do and girls can do. So you think boys and girls can all do the same jobs, do you? Yeah. So what do you want to be, Cole, when you leave school? Um, actor. Well, I'd like to be an archaeologist and, um, and, and, and... You'd like to be what, Daddy? Archaeologist and... Uh, and an archaeologist? And I'll go to college, so I'll get very good at it. And be a pop star. Do you? Hmm. Can you sing? Yeah. I like to be a nurse. Sing twinkle twinkle little star. Okay. Twinkle twinkle little star. I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a tea tray in the sky. <laughs> like a tea tray in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I always get mixed up because I've never seen it like that to me. <laughs> Kylie Minogue, eat your heart out. Give her a big round of applause, everybody. <laughs> oh, I love them. So if things are changing, they're changing pretty slowly, aren't they? <laughs> Very slowly so far. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, here's a chap who wanted a really skilled... And now... Tonight, the everyday drug with deadly side effects. Anastasia Cook meets the victims of corticosteroids. Brittle bones, it's really crumbling now, my spine's really crumbling. Thousands of people, I believe, have had their lives wrecked because of the use of this medication. We reveal the real suffering. Really, I'm dying slowly. Also tonight, what makes you peckish is quick on its feet and tastes great with chips. Answer, ostrich meat. That's delicious. But at 11 pounds a pound, Shanka Guha asks, is it a turkey? And three million people suffer noisy neighbors. 17 have died from them. We investigate. What do we all crave for in life? But silence. Ahead on Here and Now, with your reporters, Tom Mangold, Linda Bryans, Shanka Guha, Mark 